where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You're acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I work on Gonquin Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan or, or the economy or this fucking cocaine or the pills, which I am not taking anymore, but this time I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight. You plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. If they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's gonna be very crowded in the VIP room. These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a goomba into the club. Fuck. It's gonna be okay, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad-mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The, the celebrinator? Celebr what? I, whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. down to the pier. We're meeting Rock at the driving range. You know what we need it for at the driving range? I don't, actually. The kid might just want some company. Can you blame him? Yeah, I can. I got better things to be doing than babysitting the Snando's prick. Really, now? Because some of the girls I've seen you with, I could swear their parents was assigned consent forms. Oh, funny shit. One of the benefits of running a club is a thorough ID check on any potential interaction. Thank the fun police for that little jail dodger. I'm thinking to settle down, Luis. Spreading all that seed of yours has got to get exhausting. Never mind messy. Oh, you mind if we don't discuss my seed and what I do with it? Shit, if you and Evan is an example of a long-term relationship, I'm gonna steer clear. What happened to that Marga girl anyway? She was nice. Or well, that English one, Rose, wasn't it? It's Daisy, bro. How you know about that shit anyway? I know everything that happens in the clubs. I may be a washed-up old husband, but I pay attention. You seek attention. I'll give you that. Thank you. Let's go find them. Hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh, big man. Yeah, yeah, you fucking you missed me. I'm bitch. gonna get down there and go you talk missed. to him. You swing like a You bag. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? <laughs> you think you can do that for me, Louise? Yeah, I'll give it a try. What are we doing, man? We're keeping our most important investor happy. Just hit it already.
Get your fucking eye in, Lou! Now concentrate. You my fucking caddy? Shit! Ouch! <laughs> Who ain't playing ball then? Give it up! All right, all right. The other family's got libel in their pocket. The foreman on Columbus cites their boy. You got more than that. I know it. I told you all I know. Why is he moving it? Damned if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. Wababoom! Who else? Come on! Shit! Jack Duffy's that guy with the Transport Workers Union! Okay! Oh, let me see now! Let me go! Rocco, the Sunday driver. Where'd you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't? To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. You people is more suited to being caddies. Shit. Bend the knees. It's all in the knees. How am I supposed to hit it with you in my ear? <laughs> Four! <laughs> There's got to be someone higher up. Give them to me! You fucking assholes! The head of the LTAs with the Messinas. There's no way you're gonna get those contracts. They know where I am, assholes. I wouldn't want to be you. We're gonna do something about that. Now, thank Moses! Yo, thing, I just love your new friends. Fucking fantastic guys. 
Thanks, Lou. Sweet of you to say so. Shit! How do we get into this situation? Running away from monsters in a motherfucking golf cart? I think you got us here, T. Thanks for that. Death with dignity. Nice. That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that put us with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. No, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! Come on, let's head back to the apartment. Hey, you know, I'm really warming to that guy. Like a bad case of crabs. Crabs are easy to get rid of. Believe me on that one. Thank you for sharing. We're business partners. We share everything. The emphasis is on business, bro. You can keep your crabs to yourself. Sorry, man, but I really got us in the shit here, Luis. Tony, man, you gotta calm down. You're really pushing me. Yeah, well, if you weren't out chasing tail, this was a two-man operation like it should be, then maybe things will be holding together better. Oh, I'm getting blamed for this now? Oh, of course. Whenever I come to the clubs, you ask me to run off on some stupid errand like a chump. You don't ever let me into the serious shit. And you do deals without even telling me. Until it comes time to protect your ass from whoever you got your fatwa of the day all from. All right, all right. Maybe I've taken you for granted. I'll change. I'll be better. Yeah, thank you. But I don't believe it. Here we are, bro. Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Mori a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. <laughs> 